Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Snowbeck. Today we're going to do Unit 10, Notes 2, and we're going to talk about two things, translations and rotations. And these are two more types of transformations that can happen to shapes. So translations, you can see two examples here. A translation is basically a slide. So I'm just going to write that here. We'll probably write that again on the next slide as well, but it's a translation is when you take something and you slide it somewhere else on the on the plane. And so in this case, like point A slid over here, point C slid over here, point B slid over here. They all slid the same amount and in the same direction. And you can see that same thing happened over here on the right. So a translation is a slide. Let's go ahead and write that down one more time. A translation is a slide, that's its nickname. And remember a couple vocab words from 10.1. Pre-image is the original image. Original image. And when we talk about image, we're talking about the final image after you've sent it through a transformation. So the pre-image is the original and the image is the final. So I think it's easiest just to show you how this works. Number one says graph each pre-image and the translated image. So for each of these graphs on today's homework, you're going to graph two things, the pre-image and the image. And so it says translate triangle EFG to the right two units and up five units. So first I want you to plot the points E, F, and G. Go ahead and do that. Pause the video and plot points E, F, and G. As you can see here, I've plotted the points, I've labeled the points, and I've connected the points. So I want you to do that too. Make sure you put the letters E, F, and G next to each of their respective points, and then make sure you connect them. It should form a triangle. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to translate this to the right two units and up five units. And it's, it's really as simple as just sliding them over. So I'm going to start with G and I'm going to go to the right two. So I'm just going to count over like one, two, and then I'm going to count up five. And so that would be one, two, three, four, five. That would be right here. And so that's going to be my new G prime. I just went right two and up five from the original point. Same thing with F. I'm going to go right two and up five. And it ends up right here. And then I'm going to label that F prime. And then same thing with E, I'll go right to an up five. And I'll label that E prime. And again, I'm gonna connect it. And what should have happened is it should look like the triangle stayed congruent to the original, should be the same size, same shape. It just slid to the right two and up five. It's as simple as that. On number two, you'll notice it says translate square JKLM and then it has these weird kind of pointy brackets and it says negative three, negative four. That's another way of writing a, how, to, how much to translate an object. So this means you're going to go left three and down four. So will you do this? Please pause the video and try number two. Plot the pre-image and then slide it or translate it left three down four. When you're done, unpause. So here's my original image. It is a square. It's kind of slanted, so sort of looks like a rhombus, which I guess every square is technically a rhombus. But now what I'm supposed to do is translate each point left three down four. So I'll start with J and I'm just gonna go left three down four. My new J prime is actually at the origin. From M, if I go left three, one, two, three, and then down one, two, three, four, it'll be right here. M prime, K prime, left three, down four. L prime, left three, down four. We'll be on the X axis. And so my new image will end up kind of overlapping the X axis. The next transformation that we'll talk about is the rotation. And a rotation, the nickname for that is turn. You're going to take an object and turn it about a center. And so a point, in other words. In this case, that center point is called the center of rotation. So imagine you just take this E and you turn it like a doorknob and it ends up down there on the right. Now you can turn things clockwise or counterclockwise. 
And this example over here, the ease, is an example of clockwise because that's going the same direction that the clock would go. This one with the triangles over here on the right, this is an example of counterclockwise. It's going the opposite direction of a normal clock. All of our rotations today will be counterclockwise, and we're going to do three types of rotations, a 90 degrees, and a 180 degree rotation, and a 270 degree rotation. And they will all be counterclockwise about the origin, which means they're gonna have that center of the rotation at zero, zero. So here's what I'm gonna have you start with. I'm gonna have you plot three points. I'm gonna have you plot A at one, one, B at three, one, and C at one, four. Will you please go ahead and plot those points, label them, and connect them. So if you need to pause the video, please do that. Your triangle should end up looking like this. Now, if you read the instructions at the top, it says to rotate a point 90 degrees counterclockwise about the origin, multiply the y coordinate by negative one, and then interchange the x and y coordinates. So lots of things happening. We're gonna go counterclockwise, which means we're gonna go kind of around to the left. We're gonna rotate around the origin, which is right there at the center, zero, zero. And in order to do that, it says, multiply the y coordinate by negative one and then interchange the x and y coordinates. So down below here, I'm gonna make a list of my points and I want you to do this on the homework as well. So we take the y coordinate for a, which is one, and we multiply that by negative one and then we move it to the front, we interchange them. So it's gonna become negative one, move it to the front, and then negative one, one would be your point. Let's try B prime. So again, you take your Y coordinate, which is one, multiply it by negative one, and move it to the front, or interchange them. So you'll get negative one, three. And C prime, we're gonna take the Y coordinate, which is four, Multiply that by negative one, so you have a negative four, and then move it to the front, so you're gonna have negative four, one. And then plot your new point. So negative one, one would be right here, we would label that A prime. Negative one, three, right up here, we would label that B prime. Negative four, one is here, and we would label that C prime, and we are going to connect them. And I just wanna point out that this, for instance, this, let me get a darker color, this side right here from A to C was vertical, and now notice it's horizontal. We took that, that side and we rotated it around the origin, and now it's laying flat. So that was a 90 degree rotation. And one way to check if it actually seems like 90 degrees is you can pick two points um, that are images of each other, like A and A prime, connect them to the center of rotation. So A and A prime I've connected to the origin. Does that look like a 90 degree angle? Yes, it does. And so that's one indication that we did it correctly. Let's try the next one, 180 degree rotation. Let's start by graphing our same three points. So please put a dot at one, one, three, one, and one, four, and label them A, B, and C, and connect them. All right, so there are my original points. Pause the video if you need to. To rotate a point 180 degrees counterclockwise about the origin, multiply the x and y coordinates by negative one. So it's as simple as this. You leave every number right where it is. You just multiply every number by negative one. So instead of one, one, a prime will be negative one, negative one. For b prime, it's gonna be negative three, negative one. For c prime, it's gonna be negative one, negative four. We just basically multiplied everything by a negative. Now, if it's already negative, when you multiply by a negative, it will become positive. So keep that in mind, it could happen. Graph your new points. So we're gonna graph negative one, negative one. Label it A prime. Negative three, negative one. Label that B prime. And then negative one, negative four. Label that C prime. Remember, negative one, negative four would be left one, down four connect them and there it is. Now let's check, let's do that check again where I take, uh, let's take side AC and it was vertical 
and when it goes around uh, the origin, it's actually still going to be vertical by the time it makes a 180 degree rotation, but notice it's upside down. The A is on top now of that segment. So we have rotated counterclockwise. We've gone this direction to the left. And to check if it's 180 degrees, pick two uh, images of each other, so like A and A prime, and connect them to that point of uh, the origin or the center of rotation. Yeah, that looks like a 180 degree rotation. And let's try the last one, the 270 degree rotation. So again, let's graph our points. A at 1, 1, B at 3, 1, and C at 1, 4. So please plot those, label those, and connect those. Pause the video if you need to. To rotate a point 270 degrees counterclockwise about the origin, multiply the x coordinate by negative 1, and then interchange the x and y coordinates. So for a prime, we're going to take that first coordinate, the x coordinate, multiply it by negative 1, move it to the back. So it's going to end up being 1, negative 1. For b prime, we take the x coordinate, we multiply by negative 1, and move it to the back. So we're going to have 1, negative 3. And then for c prime, we're going to multiply the x coordinate by negative 1, so that'll become a negative 1, and then move it to the back. So we'll have 4, negative 1. Go ahead and plot your new points. So 1, negative 1, we'll go right 1, down 1. Label that a prime. 1, negative 3 be right 1, down 3, and 4, negative 1 will be right 4, down 1. Connect those, and so here, let's do our tests. Let's check AC. AC was vertical. It went around and around and around and around, and now it is horizontal. So imagine it just rotating right around. Let me do this. Starts here, and it just rotates right around to there. And then another thing we can do is we can check A and A prime, connect them to the origin, and in this case, this is our 270 degree rotation. And yeah, it does look like three-fourths of the way around a circle, which is 270 degrees. Will you please pause the video, and for number three, will you graph these three points, P, Q, and R, and connect them, label them and connect them. So here's what mine looks like. You can see I've labeled them, I've connected them, P, Q, and R. And it says triangle P, Q, R has these vertices. Graph triangle P, Q, R, did it, and its image after a rotation of 90 degrees. Now remember, a 90 degree rotation, if you have to go back a page, you can go look at the rule, but it's multiply the Y coordinate by negative 1 and then interchange the coordinates. So for P prime, we're going to take this negative, this 1 and multiply it by negative 1, and then move it to the front, interchange the coordinates. So it should end up being negative 1, 1. For Q prime, multiply the Y coordinate by negative 1, and then move it to the front. OK, you try the last one, R prime. Multiply the Y coordinate by negative 1, move it to the front. You should get negative 1, 5. Great, now plot your image, your new image. Make sure you're labeling everything. Connect them. And it should look like our original image, our pre-image, rotated counterclockwise 90 degrees about the origin. You could check it using P and P prime. Yep, that looks like a 90 degree angle. Number four, triangle JKL is shown. What is the image of point J after a 270 degree rotation about the origin? So in this case, we don't have to do all of the points. We just need to figure out what's J prime. So I'm going to give you a minute. Will you try that? Try to figure out if I rotate that 270, what is my new coordinate? So 
So the rule for 270 is you multiply the x coordinate by negative 1 and then interchange them. So you should get negative 7, negative 3. Please pause the video and try number 5. So we're working with point T. Point T is currently at 5, 3. It's over to the right 5 and up 3. And we want to send this through a 90 degree rotation, which means we're going to multiply the y coordinate by negative 1 and move it to the front. Your answer should be C. Before we start number 6, I would like you to label one more thing. Up at the top here, let's go ahead and label that corner B prime. We have an A prime. It's a little hard to see the prime, but this is A prime. This is C prime. Um, so that should help you as you work through number 6. Please pause the video and give it a try. So your job here is to figure out how much it rotated in which direction. Well, you start with your ABC and you work your way to your A prime, B prime, C prime. So I think it rotated around to the left, which is counterclockwise. So I'm going to eliminate A and C. I know it did not go clockwise. Now I have to figure out, did it go 20 degrees or 90 degrees? So what I do is I take the A and the A prime and connect them to the origin. And it looks to me like that's about a 90 degree rotation. So I would say 90 degrees counterclockwise. Last two, please pause the video. Try number seven. When you're done, unpause the video. So we're working with point Q. We want to do a 90 degree rotation. So we multiply the y coordinate by negative one and move it to the front or interchange. B should be your answer. Now this is an interesting one, number eight. It says describe the translation of the soccer ball from position two to position three. Remember, you always describe the translation in terms of how much it goes left or right and how much it goes up or down. So it's gonna go from two, it's gonna go right three, down two, okay? So there's two ways you could write it. You could write it in words, right three, down two, or you could use the brackets where you use kind of a pointy bracket and you say positive three, negative two, which would also mean right three, down two. And you'll see both ways in the homework today. Next, will you guys please try unit 10, practice two. You're going to be working on translations, slides, and rotations, turns. If you need any help, uh, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day.